Hey there, how's it going? Well, sorry for all of the negative political content lately. After this video, I'll attempt to take a little break from those sorts of videos. Uh, not a permanent break, obviously. It'll, I don't know, maybe it'll just be a couple weeks or something. Or maybe less, whatever. I, I just know that I've been very negative as far as these political videos, and I'd like to try to make some other content, maybe some walking videos or, or whatnot, uh, uh, movie reviews or whatever, right? So, anyway, I appreciate you listening, even when I'm completely wrong about something. Anyway, let me clarify some things from my last video, as well as address some things that people have said in comments on it. There was a point in the video where I was talking about elementary and middle school teachers teaching about things that people would consider grooming. Even though that's not what most of these teachers addressing these issues in lessons are attempting to do. Attempting. These teachers are so ideological that they can't see anything wrong with what they're doing. In the previous video, I only addressed that element to it by saying, hey, yeah, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Most of these teachers genuinely think it's okay to teach these things to kids. And then some of them think it's totally fine to uh, tell the kids to hide a lot of information from their parents. You know, actually encouraging kids to hide things from their parents if they think their parents might disagree with something. Some of these teachers actually view the parents as the villains. And so when it comes to LGBT issues, uh, these teachers genuinely believe that people are born that way. And that they're actually just trying to help kids find themselves. A lot of these teachers genuinely believe themselves as the heroes of the situation. But is that grooming? Grooming is what we usually call it when, you know, people know they're the bad guys and they want to keep things hidden from others because they know what they're doing is wrong. What do you say or do about these teachers who are first, you know, teaching about gender identity, gender theory, and sexuality, who then encourage kids to hide all this stuff from their parents, you know? And they're convinced they're the good guys and the parents are the bad guys and they have government power behind them. What do you say to them? How do you handle that? Are they groomers or does there have to be malicious intent? You know, does the intent have to do with preparing them for something awful? Personally, I think y'all should find a different word or phrase to describe this behavior from these teachers. I mean, obviously, except for the ones who genuinely have malicious intent. To me, you should leave the grooming label for those who have bad intentions. So let me reiterate what I said in the last video. These subjects should not be taught in public schools. I don't think there's an effective way of teaching these things in public schools that won't be interpreted in some way as grooming. You know, I don't think these subjects should be taught in public schools at all. And a bad thing about people knowing that these things can be taught in public schools is that there are people who are sick in the head who will use this as an opportunity to... You know, they'll, they'll go through everything they need to to become a teacher, you know, just so they can exploit children. Just like there are people who become priests for similar reasons. Just like police officers. There are many police officers who become police officers just because it gives them a chance to exert power over other people. So anyway, there are far too many teachers who have done this sort of thing already. Even though it's still a small percentage, it's still too many. And that percentage will only increase if we continue to allow public school teachers to teach these kinds of subjects and tell them not to tell their parents, right? These subjects are completely unnecessary in public schools. Now to address another element in my last video, it probably sounded like I would take Biden over the possibility of Project 2025 rearing its ugly head. But sadly, that's not true. That's how bad I think Biden is. I sincerely don't think this country could take four more years of this. We're probably fucked either way, but I think we would do quite a bit better if we had someone other than Biden in office. Just saying.